All right, we talked about how to determine whether something's going to be a solid or if it's going to be aqueous. Now we need to talk about how to determine whether or not something is going to be um, a gas. So I'm going to give you a few general rules to try and to determine whether or not something's going to be a gas or not. So hopefully this will um, help you in your predicting uh, the phases of products. Uh, I've got an example here. I think you uh, may have seen this already on some of the, uh, the classwork that you've done. Um, carbonic acid, okay, which you may you may expect to be one of your products, will actually decompose into CO2 and water, where CO2 is a gas. So anywhere that you see um, carbonic acid as one of your products, you know that you need to go ahead and just break that down into CO2 and water. CO2 and water. Uh, another, when a carbonate or car bicarbonate reacts with an acid, uh, the products are a salt, okay, for example, get two salts here, calcium chloride and sodium bromide, plus carbon dioxide and water, okay. This is, um, you, you've seen this happen with vinegar and uh, baking soda and, and several other reactions. Matter of fact, our lab number two was the production of sodium chloride. That's exactly what you saw in sodium chloride. You took hydrochloric acid, reacted it with sodium bicarbonate to yield three different products. The sodium chloride, which you were interested in, the CO2 came off as a gas, and we evaporated the water off in the liquid form. Um, another reactant that is similar, when you see a sulfite reactant uh, that's reacting with an acid, for example, we have hydroiodic acid here, the products are always going to be sulfur dioxide gas and water. So very similar situation here, uh, except for you've got, uh, instead of dealing with carbonate, you're dealing with a sulfite. Again, here's another react that you need to be aware of. Um, sodium sulfide plus sulfuric acid will yield a very, very stinky hydrogen sulfide um, gas. Um, it's very, very, very smelly. It's what you associate with... Um, rotten eggs or kind of that's kind of the smell you get or some flatulence um h2s is always going to be a gas so let's kind of sum all of that up these are common gases that form if you have carbonate either a carbonate or a bicarbonate you're always going or you're more than likely going to have co2 and water if you have sulfite a sulfite reactant you're going to end up with sulfur dioxide and probably water if you have a nitrite reaction you're going to end up with um nitrogen monoxide or nitrogen dioxide plus water. If you're dealing with ammo uh, ammonium hydroxide, more than likely, or not more than likely, it's going to break down into ammonia and water. And we're going to talk about a little bit more about this when we deal with acid and base equilibrium in the second semester. If you see H2S as um, a product, that's going to be gas as well as HCN, hydrogen cyanide. So these are going to be common uh, gases that you see formed.